Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that the decision of the ICC prosecutor on May 20 to seek arrest warrants against him and his defense minister was absurd and that the move was meant to target all of Israel. I reject with disgust the comparison of the prosecutor in The Hague between democratic Israel and the mass murderers of Hamas, he said. With what audacity do you compare Hamas that murdered, burnt, butchered, decapitated, raped and kidnapped our brothers and sisters with the IDF soldiers fighting a just war like any other? This is a complete distortion of reality. He referred to the ICC prosecutor's move as a new kind of anti-Semitism. Citizens of Israel, I promise you one thing, the attempt to tie our hands will fail, he said. As Prime Minister of Israel, I pledge that no pressure and no decision in any international forum will prevent us from striking those who seek to destroy us. Israeli political leaders were united in their outrage at the ICC prosecutor's application to arrest Mr. Netanyahu and Mr. Gallant. Foreign Minister Israel Katz slammed the beat for an arrest warrant as a historical disgrace in a scandalous decision that amounted to a frontal attack on the victims of October 7. Mr. Katz added that Israel would establish a special committee to fight the beat and also embark on a diplomatic push against it. Israeli President Isaac Herzog said the application showed that the international judicial system is in danger of collapsing. Mr. Netanyahu drew a link between the prosecutor's bid and weeks of protests on U.S. university campuses against Israel's campaign in Gaza. This is exactly what the new anti-Semitism looks like. It has moved from the campuses in the West to the court in The Hague. Ordinary Israelis also expressed indignation. Obviously, it's absurd, said Benjamin, a 28-year-old architect who declined to give his last name. There's so many crimes around the world. It's really outrageous that they're coming after us. Mr. Netanyahu vowed to continue the campaign in Gaza nevertheless. I pledge that no pressure and no decision in any international forum will prevent us from striking those who seek to destroy us. He said. We will overthrow the evil rule of Hamas and achieve complete victory.